I'm sitting here with uh, Ken Zimmerman of uh, Merlin Simulation, and uh, we're in a flight uh, training device that's modeled after the Swicer 300C. Ken, could you give us uh, an idea about the background of the simulator? Uh, um, we mainly do custom-built simulators, and uh, we're starting a new line called Pro Series, and the Pro Series is meant for the general aviation side of things. Mm -hmm. And in the Pro Series, we have a reconfigurable airplane and a reconfigurable helicopter. And on the reconfigurable helicopter, one of the uh, one of the models is 300C, another model is the R22 R44. So, with the, the 300C, we did a full flight test program in the 300C, and also with the customer, we delivered it, and uh, they were able to ch verify that the model was acting like the actual aircraft. What we have here, uh, Randy, is uh, it's, a, it's a duplicate of the 300C, including all your, your test lights, uh, as well as all your engine gauges. We have malfunctions that, are, that can give you high oil pressure, low uh, oil pressure, temperature, that, type, that sort of thing, as well as you have your, your trim, just like the actual aircraft. The propeller is actually a turn when you do an engine start. Now, Ken, you told me that this uh, training device was just uh, approved by the FAA not too long ago. Yes, it's, a, it's a, a recent development. About three weeks ago, the FAA came in and certified it as, as an AATD. That's, that's certifying the whole product line. That all went well, uh, no, no snags. Okay, what exactly is an AATD? An AATD is an advanced air crew training device. It's a replacement for the flight training device on the low level. And they have a BATD and a AATD. BATD is the basic, and the A is the advanced air, tra air, air crew training device. So, what does that mean, practically speaking, for someone who's looking at flight training? It has a lot of requirements, including a GPS for GPS approach. And we're here. We have a simulated Garmin 530. But in this, you can do your your VFR training, your IFR training. You can do your startups. You can do your shutdowns. You can do your emergency procedures. Uh, as far as credits, it's the maximum allowed by the FAA, something like 20 hours instrument, seven and a half hours private for a 141 school. So how would you expect this to be used in uh, the basic training for a helicopter? Basic training, they're going to probably be using it for procedures. Uh, the procedures are right on, and it's going to be uh, used for a lot of the uh, VFR, especially in the hover and the auto rotation mode. Uh -huh. uh, but basically, you treat it just like the actual aircraft. Okay. And do you have any customers for this yet? Uh, it's already uh, delivered to Rotors of the Rockies, and we have three other orders uh, right now. So it's only okay. three weeks old, and we have uh, four four orders, to, well, three orders, and one's already in place. Ah, that's fantastic. And you mentioned before that this is reconfigurable. Uh, so do you have any uh, prospects uh, with that, or what's the next project you're doing? Uh, yes, it's a it's just a reconfigurable for an R22, R44, where you take the entire instrument head out, uh -huh. and you put another and put the R22 instrument head in. We're also uh, going to be starting a 333 model next week, but other models that are future, uh, that, are, that are possibilities of Belgian Ranger or, or really any type of aircraft. Okay. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about what uh, Merlin Simulation does? Merlin Simulation, we, we our prime business is uh, custom-built simulators, and uh, one of the unique fi features that we have that a lot of other companies do not have is we have all the in-house capabilities. Okay. We have the in-house capabilities for doing hardware, software, electronics, uh, as, as well as visual systems. And the visual systems are the visual system themselves. The visual database, we're featuring a worldwide visual database of about 500 gigabytes of data, which is just tremendous, as well as the image generator that takes that database and puts it onto the screen. So about how many uh, airports do you have in this current database? Well, the, the current, the, the actual, the worldwide database has all the runways and all the taxiways in the world. Ah. I seem to got myself into a little bit of a uh, uncontrollable situation. Oh, here we go. Just means that you need a little bit more training. That's all, Randy. <laughs> well, this is very impressive. A lot, uh, a lot more sophisticated than what I learned to, to fly in. Um, well, I learned to fly in the actual aircraft, but uh, we didn't have uh, even a, a dream of helicopter simulators back there. I'm looking. We can actually see the shadow of us ourselves on the ground. That's pretty impressive. Yes. We have a lot of things that we don't even mention that are uh, all hidden behind the scenes there. Yeah. I have trouble keeping it trim, it seems. There we go. All right. I think that's uh, a 
it's pretty good.